Well, hi everybody. Welcome back to my studio. I'm working on a new piece today. It's a little kitty with a hummingbird. And this planter is a ceramic planter. It's a Talavera uh, planter. It's one of the ones that come from Mexico that are hand painted with all kinds of different colors and they're really beautiful. Planted in the planter, I've got Angelonia, which I have blocked in with mixtures of magenta plus my liquid and also dioxanine purple plus liquid. Then I painted the background around. Now I'm going to be working on my petunias in here. And these I'm using combinations of, this is permanent rose plus white. And then this is some cadmium red light. This is cadmium red light plus white. And then I'm actually using some cadmium orange. I just want oranges and pinks and just all kinds of different pretty colors in here. They'll look nice with the magentas. And then in the planter, there's going to be yellows and dark blues. And so the these colors just are complement with that. I, I do my blossoms in first. And then I'll come back and do, do my foliage around that. I do my flower color first because that way when I come back and do the greens if my brush picks up any of the blossom color and dirties the green and makes it a little duller, it doesn't matter. But if I were to get my blossom color in there, or my do my leaves first and then do my blossoms and pick up some of that green on my brush, it dirties my flower color. So I want to, my flowers to remain nice and bright and cheerful. So my blossoms in there. I'm going to have a few on this side coming down behind my kitten. And just again, I use a large bright brush. This is a square brush and I can use the corner to make those, those finer brush strokes. We'll bring a little blossom down here. Just want having the kitty in front of the planter just helps give the feeling of depth in the painting. So this is get my flowers blocked in. I want to leave my sketch there of the wing just so I don't forget that. Now I'm going to start working on some of my foliage color, but first I want to bring this right in there. Okay. So I'm going to use a little bit smaller brush. And these are mixes of phthalo blue plus lemon yellow. That makes a nice rich green that goes really well. Now the rooster's going to have a red wattles there and a red comb, so I want some green behind here. So it'll be a little lighter because that light's, light's coming in from the left, so it kind of comes over the rooster's neck. Back in here. And I work my foliage color around the, around the flowers. That rattling you hear is my little tissue. I have it suspended beneath my palette on a wire. Just it's a roll of, of toilet tissue. Well, let's do another little few little blossoms in there. Now I'm going to start working my foliage in here. I want some dark in behind this tip of this wing here. I 
just again, I bring some lighter colors in here. And I can just use the corner of my, my brush to make the finer brush strokes. This is a mixture of phthalo blue plus liquid, and that just gives me a nice cool dark to have in the depth of the foliage there. Let's see, let's put a, we need another blossom right here. This is my permanent rose plus white. leaves in here. Here's a mixture of phthalo blue plus a little white. Just again gives me a little cooler, cooler green in there. I just love these bright brushes. I used to use filberts and once I discovered the bright brush I just have pretty well changed over to those. I, I really like the versatility. You can do a large brush stroke with the flat edge or use the corner for finer brush strokes and it just I've just found them to be very versatile. Now I'm going to come back in now and start doing some of the foliage from the Angelonia. This is a mixture of phthalo blue plus cadmium orange. This is a cooler green, and it just gives a nice contrast to the brighter green in front of it. It's a duller green. Duller colors, muted colors go back, and the brighter colors come forward. Again, we're going to, this is start, starting to come into the light on this side. So we make these a little bit lighter. Don't have a lot of the foliage showing here, but we just want a little bit. And I'm going to bring some darks in that too. Just give some depth. Now I'll come back and, and paint more on those angelonias, but this, this kind of gets me some little leaves and things in there. Again, gives me some greens to play off against this red of the the rooster. So I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe to my channel and visit my blog. You'll see a lot more of the painting, the progress of the painting on my blog. The link is in the description below. The address is also on the final frame of my YouTube video. And just remember, today is a great day to have a great day. So happy painting and I hope to see you again.